Hey guys, what's up? This is Jordan or another Italian here and I'm sorry I haven't been posting videos lately It's because my computer was giving me an error saying there is no hard drive and I think that's just a tad bit of a problem I don't know <laughs> But anyways, um, I just replaced the hard drive and I put it back in got my world off sky drive and everything's cool Anyways today. I'm gonna be showing you a total uh, World Com domination walkthrough. I guess I'm gonna call this and I'm gonna be showing you uh, how to win as each different nation I assigned in the or playable nation. So first I'm going to be doing the access video. I'll be leaving links to everything once I get them up there and let's just get on with the video. So first I'm going to be showing you the bot, the special unit of the... Hello? Uh, this is a bad time to call back later. I really hate telemarketers but anyways I'm going to be showing you the boss unit of the uh, German German Air Force. So it's right here. As soon as you unlock vision, you unlock something called the Hornet 229. And this unit has a 40 bombardment damage, has a 4 rate of fire, so it's an extremely powerful unit. It will almost never get shot down, and it has a huge operational range, as you can see that in there in the picture. Now I'm gonna be showing you just a little bit more in a in a little bit more visual way. So as you can see, the range of this stretches through almost all of Russia. So if you build an army of these, you're going to be set. The problem is these are kind of expensive to build. You can probably still, as Germany, in Berlin at least, build them maybe two or three turns. Now I'm going to be showing a little demonstration. Wow. Okay, well, <laughs> that was kind of a fail, but let's move on. Now I'm going to be showing you uh, the medium tank of the German army. This is right here is the Panzer, and this is the light tank. This tank has... Wait. This tank has 13 attack, 9 defense, and 3 movement. So this tank is stronger than any other light tank, as you can see. Uh, light tanks. Light tanks only have... 8 attack and 5 defense, so you're at a massive advantage as Germany because you can blitz free through everything, and I mean everything. Now I'm going to be showing you the Panther 4, which is your medium tank as Germany. Should I probably just do that. Yep. So it has an 18 attack, 9 defense, and 3 movement. So compared to other light tank, other medium tanks, which I'm also going to be showing you as soon as I find, here we go, other medium tank with 15 attack and 9 defense, you are at a 3 uh, three attack advantage and you get these tanks pretty early on so I suggest you get this technology as soon as possible as the Germans now finally I'm gonna be showing you the Tiger 2 tank this tank has 25 attack and only in 16 defense you get a massive massive advantage when you get these tanks compared to the other heavy tanks which is only 18 attack and 16 defense you get 25 this is incredible and not only that that once you reach the final technology which is Blitzkrieg you unlock not only do you unlock your Tiger 2 tank, you also unlock the mouse. The mouse has 35 attack and 25 defense. The problem is it has very little movement. I'm going to be showing you this massive tank in action. This is the strongest American tank. There we go. Not okay. Talk too soon. I exceeded it always in the luck drop. This is the strongest tank in the military. So. Baboom. And now it has 9 health. And it's just incredible. This is the M2 version, the strongest American tank. If you actually wind up playing the entire campaign, you might land over here as Germany to destroy everybody, but I don't suggest you do that because that'll take an extreme amount of time. Anyway, now let's move on to the final part of this walkthrough, the uh, German military or Navy. This is the Iowa, the strongest American battleship you're going to have to face, and this is the Supreme model. I'll show this a little bit later in uh, the Japanese part of the game. But Right now I'm going to be showing you the firepower of the Bismarck, which is your special battleship against the power of the Iowa. Uh, pretty effects, but I, I just highly suggest you don't use the Bismarck in battle against the American battleship as you just saw what happened. But anyways, this has 22 attack, 18 defense, 15 barbarment, strongest battleship, well, Unless you're versing the special battleships, but this is probably one of the strongest battleships you can get And it's just good for causing havoc to all of London <laughs> Now the strategy of this is to draft as many troops as possible Keep Russia occupied with all your little mini conscripts Like go here because these things are pretty powerful with 8 attack and 7 defense while these things 
Okay, you can still cause a lot of damage to them. Next thing you want to do is take all of your panzers and go blitz right through the Netherlands and try to get to Paris. You can probably do that in about one turn. I have done it in one turn. If you watch my walkthrough, I'll leave a link up in the video description on Paris. Alright, and after you conquer Paris, you're going to conquer all these smaller little places and take over France in a matter of two turns. After that, you can go straight to Moscow and you completed the obje main objective. If you want to continue playing, uh, continue playing. But as you can see, Russia is very, very massive. And it took me maybe a week of playing maybe three hours a day trying to beat this because I was doing a lot of testing. So <laughs> it's going to take you a little while. But anyways, now let's move on to uh, Japan. Japanese part. Whoa, I'm gonna have to fix that. That's not supposed to be there. But any this is the French wall that's supposed to be all the way there. Okay, it doesn't show on the map, but it's supposed to be over there. Alright, so now the special units in Japan is, as you can tell by maybe the units I laid out for you, Japan is all about the Navy. They ha maybe have a tank, but it's really, really bad. Might be a little stronger than the normal light tank, but don't try to win in a conquest victory. But what the strategy is mainly, conquer all of China with infantry, never tanks. <laughs> you can still use tanks, but your infantry I think are stronger. Yeah, they have 10 and 8. So your infantry are stronger, and you can try to take over China maybe a couple of turns, 4 at the most. But your really special unit I'm going to get you, this is like a game changer, is your submergible aircraft carrier. It's a submarine that you can rebase aircraft to. Let me just take, let's say a 0, rebase, ba-boom. This is can now carry aircraft, so you can take this secretly, like build an army of maybe bombers and stuff like that, maybe even nuclear bombs. Go here and just destroy everything. <laughs> now I'm going to be showing you the different classes of battleship. This is the Fuso Class 1 battleship, it's just a normal battleship, nothing special. This is the Musashi Class 2 battleship. It's still nothing really special. Then you have the Yamato class battleship, which is incredible. It's your special battleship compared to the. Whoa. Okay, I can't click on that. Compared to the American Iowa, which is their special battleship. 23, 23. Your thing has a lot more attack, but a little less defense. And then you get to the improved version, the Super Yamato, with 30 attack and 25 defense. This thing is a beast. Now I'm going to be showing you the battleships against the, their equals. So right now we have the Fushu. When battleships are versus battleships that are pretty much the same, actually you, your your battleships are always going to be stronger than the American battleships. You're going to dominate them at sea as you have like a submergible aircraft carrier, but they will win an air force. They have stronger bombers, more bombers, more fighters, so you're going to have to try and build as many anti-aircraft guns as possible. Now I'm going to be moving on to show you the firepower of the Musashi. <laughs> Now we have the Yamato against the American awesome battleship. This it, you only have a two. Oh, I don't think you're going to go into a head-to-head -head collision until you have the Super Yamato with the Iowa. Try to take it out with bombers first, but still they are very resistant to aircraft. Actually, I wanted to go check that out. Super Yamato, boom. boom. Anti-aircraft defense 20, so if a normal bomber has, let's say, a bombardment of, this doesn't have a bomb, this, of 14, this is going to be able to withstand most of the blow. Now this is... The Yamato should win the flying colors, but it didn't. Oh, well, whatever. So now we're going to be moving on to uh, the uh, Italian part of the game. All right, so now we're on the Italian part of the game. You're going to probably want to go for Mediterranean Conquest. So your special, right off the bat, your special naval ship is the Roma. This is just a pretty souped-up battleship. It's nothing special. It's not very powerful, but it's, it's still pretty useful. You can take off a little, you can pick off a little people. Um, let's see, you get Mediterranean infantry instead of just normal infantry. This is a little bit of disadvantage, but it's not as much as if you were in the Middle East. You get even less powerful infantry. Uh, what else to say about them? Mm, everything's pretty much the same as Italy. You get little less powerful tanks, nothing special. Italy's not the one you want to choose, but 
let's say you're playing with your friends because you can play this online I'll teach you how to play that maybe put up a video a little later someone can probably be uh, Germany and if you're playing with your friends you have to have a smart Italy because you can take out all these smaller nations your main target will probably be Egypt you're gonna have to keep uh, Turkey occupied so they don't go and bother Germany because Germany has a big job to take out both France and Russia it's incredible so now I'm going to be showing the power of these uh, people and what you have to worry about as <laughs> Italy. You're going to have to worry about these midi infantry. I don't think you should be very uh, scared of those because there's nothing infantry. Probably the most as you saw. But what you have to worry about is the terrorist. This guy just walks up and blows up your tanks. And I don't think he has any defense, so he just dies. But if you wait a turn, he will blow up everything you want to take them out. As soon as you see them, I showed you what he looked like. He is incredibly strong. Do not fuck with him. Alright, thank you guys for watching. This has been the World War II Access walkthrough. I'm going to be posting up the Allied walkthrough very soon. Uh, stay tuned. If you liked the video, please like the video. It helps me out a lot. Because I don't get any money from these videos. So you can't uh, penalize me for being a money-grabbing whore. <laughs> or something like that. I think the most views I got in that video was 200. But I just really like it if you like the video. So it will make me get a little bit more popular or maybe people will actually know that I exist so uh thanks for watching like the video and uh I'll see you guys all later probably tomorrow with the uh allied video thanks for watching and bye bye